Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finale Inventory. I'm going to give a quick example here of creating a custom report for to answer a specific question. A few days ago, a user uh, called me and said, how can I create a report that would give me the total amount that I've invoiced to a specific customer? And I helped the person create a report, and that's what I'd like to walk you through. In Finale Inventory, the reports are here in the lower left, so I just click on a report, and then I would click on the nearest report that I could find. In this case, I couldn't find the exact report, so I clicked on something else. Prior to making this video, I created a blank one, which I'll start with here. To create a custom report, you begin with what's called a data set. A data set is like a big spreadsheet where every row of that spreadsheet contributes to your final report. So since what we are asked to do by this user is to create a report that shows the total amount invoiced to a specific customer, I'm going to begin with the data set of all of my invoices with my item detail, meaning that there's one row for every row in every invoice. You can think of this like if you printed out all of your invoices and taped them in a big, long, tall, monolith invoice that had every row of every invoice, that's what we're starting out with here. But then we're going to filter it. We're going to filter it by a specific customer. and a specific date range. I'm going to check these two little check boxes so that whenever you run the report it's going to ask you for the customer and the date range. So you can think of it like I'm making a template that I can reuse again and again. Okay, so now we begin with the master spreadsheet of all of our invoices together. We then filtered out everything that didn't match our customer and the date range that we picked. The next thing we choose is what columns or what fields do we want to show in our report. And this user really was asked a pretty simple question. He just wanted to know the customer and the total. So I'm just going to add the customer here. make the field wide enough to see. And then the total is actually a calculated column because it combines the prices of all of the rows for this customer. So I add the, the total here. Invoice item subtotal sum. Okay. Great. So I'll save that print it to make sure I get something like what I want. Okay, I'm getting a list of all of my customers here and the subtotal per customer. That looks basically what I want, so I'm ready to go. I guess I've already saved it. So if I went back home, then went to reports, then went to invoice totals, the report that I just made, here it is asking me for a specific customer and a date range. So I'll pick the example customer, pick a date range of say May 24th through today, apply, print the report, and there we go. The example customer for that specific date range was invoiced $215.53. I'm going to follow this up with another video which will then expand out from this report into a report that looks a little fancier and shows a little bit more information. So click on the next video if you're interested.